Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. It's the most common cause of dementia, accounting for about 70% of dementia cases. Although there is no single thing that has been proven to cause Alzheimer's, most research shows that the biggest culprit is excess sugar consumption, which leads to insulin resistance, which damages the neurons in our brain. One of the parts of the brain that is most vulnerable to this damage is the hippocampus, which is where we store our memories. The hippocampus also happens to be the first part of the brain that starts to deteriorate in Alzheimer's. While there's currently no cure for Alzheimer's disease, there are several lifestyle factors that have been shown to reduce the risk of getting it. The single most important way to reduce your risk is to focus on what you eat. The one sentence answer is to eat unprocessed food because unprocessed food has very low amounts of sugar, very high amounts of fiber, as well as antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids. Research has shown that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fats help reduce the risk of developing this disease. Specifically, the Mediterranean diet has been shown to be particularly effective in reducing the risk of Alzheimer's. The Mediterranean diet is high in plant-based foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and includes healthy fats such as olive oil, nuts, and fish. The Mediterranean diet is also low in red meat and processed foods, which are associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's. In fact, two out of the five blue zones in the world are in the Mediterranean, Sardinia, Italy, and Icaria, Greece. Blue zones are where people live the longest and healthiest lives. The other three are in Okinawa, Japan, Costa Rica, and Loma Linda, California. Now, what do all of these places have in common, all five of them? They all eat mostly unprocessed food. They have other commonalities as well, like good social relationships and physical activity. But just like the Mediterranean diet, they're mostly eating unprocessed food. Now, other studies have showed that exercise, a ketogenic diet, and intermittent fasting have all been linked with a decreased risk of Alzheimer's. So when you take into account all of these different things, what do they all have in common? Well, they all improve or at the very least maintain insulin sensitivity. So it's all about keeping that insulin level down so the body cells don't become insulin resistant. So intermittent fasting, a keto diet, exercise, what do they all do specifically? They all lead to a ketogenic state in the body. One of those ketones is called beta-hydroxybutyrate or BOH, and that increases BDNF activity. BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, is the protein in the brain that helps lay down new connections in the hippocampus. It's like the brain's version of miracle Grow, helping the neurons form new branches so that those neurons can rejuvenate. Now, intermittent fasting also helps to reduce inflammation in the body, which has been shown to play a role in the development of Alzheimer's disease. Chronic inflammation can damage brain cells and contribute to the development of plaques and tangles, which are hallmark features features of Alzheimer's disease. Regular exercise has been shown to reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's by up to 50%. Exercise not only increases BDNF activity, it also increases blood flow to the brain, which can help to reduce the buildup of toxic protein deposits in the brain. And it also helps to reduce inflammation. In addition to diet and exercise, it's important to engage in activities that stimulate the brain. You wanna engage the brain. This includes doing things like reading or playing games, learning a new skill or taking up a hobby. The brain, it's like a muscle and just like the muscles in the body, it needs to be exercised to stay strong and to stay healthy. By engaging in mentally stimulating activities, we can help to keep our brain cells active and healthy. And the most important type of mental stimulation comes in the form of spending time with other people, so having good relationships, social interactions. In fact, in the longest study ever, which started in 1938 at Harvard, it showed us that the thing that keeps us the happiest and the healthiest the most is actually having close relationships. So stay socially engaged, because social isolation is associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Another incredibly important factor in preventing Alzheimer's disease is getting enough quality sleep. Research has shown that chronic sleep deprivation is associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's. During sleep, the brain it clears out the toxic junk from our neurons. The brain has something called glymphatic channels that open up when we're sleeping, and the trash is essentially thrown down the chute so the garbage man can come take it away. If you're not getting enough quality sleep, guess what happens? You start collecting too much junk in your trunk and that's going to affect your mood, it's going to affect your stress level and of course your cognitive function. And what happens in Alzheimer's is you have this collection of junk in the trunk over time and they're called amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. Other things that you want to do is avoid toxins. So too much alcohol is going to make you more prone to dementia. Smoking is going to do the same thing and that's really it. Focus on good nutrition, especially not eating too much sugar and even better if you combine this with intermittent fasting, throw in exercise, 
good sleep, good relationships, and then you have the formula to minimize your risk of getting Alzheimer's, or at the very least, mitigate the severity of cognitive impairment. And this also applies to vascular dementia, not just Alzheimer's. Now, I did make another video that explains the single most important reason why people get Alzheimer's dementia and vascular dementia. So if that's something you wanna learn more about, you can check that video out right here.